goes ever on and on. <laughs> now, now they are. I know it's somewhere among all these books and papers. Why is it you can never find things, Frodo? Ah, here it is. The Red Book, Bilbo used to call it. So it is. Red. The colour of fire. The colour of blood. Oh, so many pages left blank. Almost as if Bilbo knew that the story which he began would one day have to be finished by someone else. I've left them for you, Frodo, my lad, he used to say. But I never really supposed that the task would fall to me. Yes, a great many pages, yet barely enough to tell the tale in full, its dramas, terrors, and sadnesses. Nevertheless, it must be told, shall be told, however long the telling may take, and always supposing that I am permitted the time to tell it. But where to begin? Where did it all really begin? Not with my journey. No, long before. With Bilbo's adventures, there and back again? Nope, not even there. It began with a tale told before our time. Before hobbits had any part to play in it. A tale told by other voices. Recorded by other hands. A tale that began long years ago.